Hey, I'm Doug from Convology. In this video, we're going to take a further look at cart flows for selling Thrive Apprentice products, which is basically memberships and courses. In our previous video, which I'll link in the description, we set up the basics of our cart flows funnel. We created our sales page, our checkout page, and our confirmation page. That's the basics of our funnel. Now, as promised in this video, we're going to take a look at order bumps, upsells, and a really neat ability to use the rules engine for conditional offers. Now, I've received several comments asking, why do I use cart flows or why is cart flows being used if it feels like this same type of thing can be built using Thrive Architect and Thrive Theme Builder, right? Essentially, you're just making three different pages. Why do you have to use cart flows? I think this video is going to answer a lot of that with a lot of the dynamic offers that are available and the features that are available inside of cart flows. So let's dive into our funnel and take a look at these features and how we can use them to further enhance selling our Thrive Apprentice products with WooCommerce. Okay, we're back inside of our flows in cart flows. If we click into our flow here, and this is again, just the exact same one that we built together in the previous video that's linked in the description. We're going to take a look at the canvas real quick. So as a reminder, this is the somewhat newish feature to cart flows that gives us a visual representation of what's going on. So here's those three pages again. We have our sales page or landing page where we're basically pitching and trying to sell somebody on why they want to buy our course. We have our checkout page. And in my funnel, I do like to link from the sales page to a separate checkout page. But we also talked about in the previous video how you can combine these two. And then we have our confirmation page. In this video, I want to build in a couple of additional features in our funnel. I want to make them an offer during checkout on this page where they can essentially replace their existing order directly from the cart itself. Then based on whether or not they took that order bump, I want to make an upsell between our checkout and confirmation page where I make an additional offer conditional upon whether or not they took that bump offer and then ultimately take them to the confirmation page. This is going to be a fantastic way to increase our revenue. So to do this, there's a couple of things we need to do first. So we have our sales page for our course and our checkout page for our course. Let's go into our checkout. Inside the checkout, we have these tabs at the top for product, which is selling our course Thrive Apprentice to Master. We're selling that for $249. We're going to add an order bump. An order bump is an in-cart offer that all they have to do is check a box and we're going to offer it to them. So we're going to go big with this one. We're going to offer them our membership, which is a complete upsell from our course, that's 249 to our 999 membership, that's like an all access pass. So let's name this Convology Pro membership offer and add our order bump. From here, we see that the status is currently off and we have no products assigned. So let's go ahead and click on our offer and add a product. Let's search for our product and start typing. So for this, we're going to search for our Convology Pro membership, add that, one quantity, the original discount type, there's the full price. That looks good. Let's click save. Now let's go over to the design tab where we can start to help our offer take some shape. We have different order bump skins. We have about five styles that we can choose from at the time of making this video. Style one, I actually really like. Style two, I don't like as much. Style three, I think is nice, but a little simple. Style four is interesting. I think this works uh, for like a lot of different like software add-ons. That's a great one. Uh, and then style number five, I think is okay. So for us, Let's go ahead and stay with style number one. And I do like it to be 100% width, but I wanna make some changes to this because I want it to stand out a little bit. So I'm going to change the checkout label from this grayish color background. I'm going to come down here and I'm going to make it my brand color. That looks great, but now the color needs to change on the text. So let's go ahead and just make that white. And that's already looking really good. So you can make all sorts of different edits here. You can change different colors and highlights. You can enable an arrow here that I think is a little gimmicky and you can make it even more gimmicky by having it blink. It's a little more than I wanna do. I wanna be a little bit more subtle. So I'm just going to leave it like that. One thing I do like is the box border. You can choose between uh, a dashed or a dotted or a solid border uh, or dashed or none. And I think that this could be a great way to make it stand out depending on the design of your cart. I'm gonna leave this, however, as default. We don't wanna do anything more there. So I'm happy with how that looks. So I'm going to click Save Settings. And now let's go to the Content tab of our bump here and let's decide where we want this positioned. We can place it after the order details or we can place it before the checkout, before the customer details, etc. I'm going to do mine after the customer details 
and then let's customize some content here. Since we're asking them to upgrade from a 249 one-off course to our full 999 membership, I'm gonna change this to say, yes, upgrade me to the full Convology Pro membership. There we go, I've created the text and the content now for my order bump. Now the last option that we have here is the ability to enable an image. If we would like to add an image into our offer, it's as easy as checking the box and choosing the image. We're not gonna do that for our order bump, we're going to just keep it pretty simple. So let's go ahead and click save. Now under the conditions tab, we have a little bit of conditional logic that we can enable. So this order bump will be shown only if the following things are true. In our case, because we're not using this as our global WooCommerce checkout, we're actually building individual flows per Thrive Apprentice product. We don't have a lot of use here, so we're not going to use conditional logic. However, I will mention that if you have a bigger e-commerce website where someone can buy things like t-shirts and mugs and all sorts of different products, you can create rules where if somebody purchases a mug, you offer them a t-shirt. If someone purchases a t-shirt, you offer them a mug and it's conditional which order bump they see. I think that's really applicable if you use this as your global checkout for all of your products. However, in our case, we are setting up just individual flows per product in Thrive Apprentice. So we're not going to use a conditional order bump here, but we will apply conditional rules to our canvas. Now under the settings, I think this is a really interesting and important step because in our example here, we are upgrading from just one course, the one off course to our full complete membership instead. So in our case, I do want to replace the first product, meaning I want the membership to replace the course. However, if your order bump were simply adding on a coaching call or adding on a bonus lesson or a bonus module or something small, you may not necessarily want to check this box. But I love that this box is here because within the cart, it lets you sell somebody on why they can completely replace what's in their cart in this exact funnel with something else. So for us, let's check that box and click save settings. Now let's go ahead and toggle on here at the top, our order bump and go back to our flow. And now let's also go back to our main steps here in our flow. So nothing's really changed. We still have only our three steps. Now we've got our order bump done in our checkout. Let's add an upsell. So I'm going to go ahead and click an upsell here and I'm going to add an upsell because I want somebody to be shown another offer dependent on whether or not they took that order bump. So let's create our step and let's give it a name. In this case, let's have this be if they did purchase the membership. So they checked that box. So we're going to offer them a coaching call discount. We're going to create our step and let's go ahead and drag that above our confirmation page. There we go. We now have a valid position and we have a yes, no condition. Let's add another step. And this step is going to be if they did not check that box. So let's go ahead and offer another upsell and let's call this one membership offer. So we're going to offer them the membership again. And let's go ahead and also drag that above. Now let's take a look at our canvas. Here we go. We're starting to see this take a little bit of shape. We have two upsells. However, right now, take a look at this. The checkout will automatically send them to the first upsell that will automatically go to the next one and so on. We need to add the rules engine here to make this make more sense. Let's go back into our checkout step and let's take a look at the dynamic offers. Let's go ahead and enable dynamic offers, which like I mentioned is the rules engine. Let's redirect to our coaching call discount if the following conditions are true. So let's click here to drop this down and say that our total, this is an easy way for us, we can choose based on a number of things, but for us, I think the total is the easiest way to say. If the total is greater than, remember our course was being sold for 249, if our total is greater than 250, which it would be if they checked the box and were paying 999 for the membership, then they're going to be redirected to the coaching call discount. Now let's make our next offer. If this is not true, where they bought the membership and now we're going to offer them a coaching call discount, we want to send them to our membership offer where we're going to make one last pitch to them to join. So let's click save here and let's go look at the canvas again. So currently here's what our canvas looks like. Now you can probably spot the problem, right? If they did do the upsell and we wanted to offer them a coaching call, they still go to the membership offer. So we need to fix this problem here where the coaching call takes them to the membership offer. And to do that, it's pretty simple. We need to go into our coaching call step and we need to go to settings. 
Here under settings, we're going to come back to this shortcut section when we design our page. We need to go to the conditional redirection and then just choose that we want them to go to our confirmation page if they choose yes and our confirmation page if they choose no because we're only making one offer and we don't really want to worry about upsells and downsells. And then click save settings. Now when we return to our canvas mode, you can see that things are starting to look a little bit better here. Sales page to check out, did they take the bump? Yes, then we're going to offer them a coaching call and whether they take it or not, the confirmation page. If they didn't take our order bump, we're going to offer them the order bump, but essentially a little bit more uh, persuasively, so to say. And then we're going to also send them to the confirmation page. Very simple funnel. We could have had a lot more to this with down sales and then more up sales. We could have had more custom confirmation pages, which based on which of these options that they chose, we could have, we could have really made this complicated, but for the purpose of getting started, I wanted to show you how quick and easy it is to create a very simple funnel, visualize it and implement it using the simplicity of cart flows. All right, so we have the funnel built, but we don't yet have the customization done. There's just a couple more steps. Let's customize our design of our coaching call discount and membership offer. Inside of our coaching call discount, we do want to go to our products and we want to search for call and select our coaching call. And let's add a discount on this. Let's discount this by $50 if they take the offer so that the call jumps from 199 down to 149 and click save settings. Now we need to design our upsell. However, we need to keep a few things in mind. We need some links for people to be able to accept it. So let's go ahead and copy our accept link here. And we're gonna come back to this so you can open this in a new tab or you can just keep coming back to the settings section. But under design, you can click view and then edit that with Thrive Architect or click go to the WordPress editor and edit that with Thrive Architect. And that's going to bring up this blank page. So here, just like the previous steps in the previous video, we have a blank page in Thrive Architect that we can completely customize however we like. So from here, we actually have a couple of options. This is an upsell page, so we can go into our Thrive templates, go to pre-built landing pages. If we were to choose, for example, the Hydrogen Smart on the left-hand side, they actually have a upsell page where you can upsell people or you can choose any of these templates that you like. I'm going to start blank, but I just wanted to point this out again that you don't have to if you don't want to. So for us, I'm going to add a background section. It's kind of like my go-to thing. And then inside of that, I'm going to add a content box. And then I'm going to get the basics done by adding a button here. And then I'm going to make the button my brand color. And I'm going to change the text on this button to be the yes, I want the upsell. So in this case, it's our coaching call. So it's going to be, yes, add the coaching call credit to my order. And then for the no, we're going to just add text below that and say, no thanks. And we'll center that below our button. And for our button, remember, if we jump back here to settings, here is our accept offer link. Let's copy that, jump back over on our button, put in the link to accept the offer. And on our no thanks, we're going to jump back here and take the decline offer. Jump in and say no thanks, link it in, insert. Now I'm going to customize this just a little bit to make it look nicer, and I'll jump to that point of the video. All right, I just took three minutes and put this together, a really quick offer that somebody will be shown after they check out, and they can click yes that they want it or no that they don't. So I'm gonna click save, and now I'm going to jump back over to my flow here, and I'm going to go back to our steps and we're going to finish the design of our uh, membership offer. So I'll click into this one. We do need to set a product and we're going to add in our Convology Pro membership. And then we're going to, instead of offering a discount, because let's say that this is our premium flagship product, we're going to leave it at $9.99. For this one, we are going to have it replace the main order. This is an important checkbox for this step because just like our order bump checkbox, we also want this one to replace the original. So if they choose to purchase this, yes, it will override the course. So we'll save our settings. And now we also have to design this one as well. I'm going to click view and then edit with Thrive Architect at the top or go to WordPress editor like this and then click my edit with Thrive Architect button, which because I have a bunch of junk on here, looks broken right now, but it's this green button right here. And that brings us once again to our empty white page. However, because we're using Thrive Architect, we can just use a template. 
So I'm going to drop in a template and I'm going to choose the one that I just created and look how much time I'm saving myself. All I have to do is swap out some images and some text and we're good to go. Okay, so once I have this designed however I want, you could put a video in here, you could do more images, whatever you'd like. Uh, I need to now replace my button and my link. So let's go back to our settings and copy our accept link and then replace our link on our button that we had of our previous one and replace our decline link here, paste it in and update. And now we have our accept and our decline and we can click save. All right, so taking one final look at our canvas, I think we're good to go and we're ready to test. So let's go ahead and preview everything that we've built. So here we have our sales page. This is what we set up in our previous video. Everything looks great. We're convinced that we want to buy the course. So we click enroll in the course and we're taken to our checkout page that we built. I made a few little tweaks to it. And here we have our upsell. So we can say, yes, I want to upgrade. And if they check that box, notice that it has completely replaced the 249. Here, let me uncheck that for you so you can see that. We have our Thrive Apprentice to Master course, but perhaps the checkbox here completely upsold us and there's the 999. Let's go ahead and proceed and do a test with our Stripe test credentials. So we're going to put in our test and click place order. And here we go. We are being shown our offer to book a coaching call with Doug because we did take that offer. We can say yes, add it to my order, or we can say no thanks. Let's go ahead and add that to our order. And we're taken to our confirmation. Now let's go back and try the other way. We see our sales page. We're sold. We want to buy the course. We scroll down. We do not take the upsell this time. So we're staying with our 249. We're going to paste in our test credentials and we're going to place our order. Now here we see the other offer that we built because conditionally we did not take the upsell. So we can upgrade our offer or we can say no thanks. This time we're going to say no thanks. Now it's processing our order and redirecting us to our confirmation page once again. Pretty awesome, right? And actually really simple. What I love about this way of setting it up is that it's completely customizable with Thrive Architect. There's actually another way inside of Cartflows that you can add an order upsell or a checkout offer, I believe they call it, where after you initially check out, a page comes up where you have like a Cartflows style design. It's a very simple way to do it but the way that I showed you gives you total control using Thrive Architect to build practically whatever you want. So hopefully that answers the question of why would I use Cartflows? Why not just build these pages in Thrive Architect and use the WooCommerce checkout? And let's think about that for a second. If we did just build these pages in Thrive Architect and Thrive Theme Builder, we sure could make them look practically identical. However, we would be using WooCommerce in its WooCommerce form where you would add it to your cart, proceed to checkout and then we would check out using our Thrive Theme Builder checkout templates, which are nowhere near as customizable as they are with our Cartflows checkouts controlling the funnel. Furthermore, we would not have any of the conditional offers, the order bumps, or the upsell functionality. So I'll have a bunch of links in the description to all the things that we used in today's tutorial, as well as where you can find out more information about how to create additional things with cart flows, including a custom My Account page for WooCommerce. But that's going to do it for me. I'm Doug at Convology, and I'll see you in the next video.